How are you guys? How are we doing today? You're tired. I'm also tired. I am also tired. But we're going to enjoy, ne? We're going for four sessions today, eh? Yeah? Hmm? Because when I looked at the marks, it looks like we need it. How are we now? Today? Yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I submitted them. I'm glad I don't want to switch. Now we're on two. What's the two? Daily. There's no day. It's you or die. Wait, so are they on the four days? I've uploaded. They probably hear it back from you guys. They probably won't be seeing it at the end of the day. End of the week? When did you just give it to us? Today. 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 Yeah. Oh. Today. So, another person. Ah, let's talk after. Ah, so what's the thing? You should tell us now. So, we're going to I'm not lying to you guys. Ah, yes. I'm not. Tell I'm us not so we, can do uh, we have an average. No, I'll I'll tell you. It's just that I'm recording right now, so I don't want to don't want to have that on record. Don't want to have that on record. But I'll tell you as soon as the break. Just ask me. I'll tell you everything. I have it written down here somewhere. You know what that. Huh? No, the the things you are asking for. The things you are asking for. So yeah, we need to we need to look at that and see where did things go wrong. This is why I was asking you guys: Did we not do enough revision? And uh, was the approach not as it should have been? But you guys' feedback was was fine. And when I look at your assessment, it was exactly. The suggested thing that I gave you. Yeah. So I don't understand. They only changed the numbers. They only changed the numbers. But people did not go and study theory. I can see <laughs> people did not go and study theory. They didn't go and look at the definitions and the terms. And yeah. So um, they want to sound like it was the whole class. Um, oh, make no mistake. Is it? Yeah. Woo! No, you are many. Oh, make no mistake make no mistake definitely but let's 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 finish this here second second session i want to push we must do three of these exercises second session we revise this one then you guys can see and it's going to be recorded so since it's recorded when you get your script you'll be able to see where did i go wrong what did i answer on my isn't it? so don't worry about that and then if 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 I marked harshly or somewhere somewhere i was wrong bring your script and we'll change gladly i've got no issues yeah ah, ah. you'll see your scripts guys mm. and then you'll tell me maybe i'm missing something i don't know how long did it take to take I think maybe tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, don't worry. I'll explain in good detail once we have paused this recording. But let's finish this. Today we're doing some light introduction to probability. Some light introduction to probability. So I want to push. I've given you, I've uploaded your ice tasks. The guy who was asking me for ice tasks is now leaving. But I've uploaded five of your ice tasks. It's just five multiple choice questions. For each of the five learning units that we've gone through and those multiple choice questions are all theory so maybe let me even just go there just so you can see so if you go to your module no the the the, the questions the ice tasks that i've given you it's it's all just theory questions oh wait where 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 are these things Am I losing it? Ah, why is it empty? Mm. Maybe I added the ice task to 
the wrong module. Let me quickly see. Where would I have created them? Okay, I'm not too sure where, where they are, but I'll sort that out. By tomorrow, I will verify where, where they are. If not by this evening, then I'll send out a, uh, a message via announcements. But yeah, let's, let's, ah, oh, maybe I was looking in the wrong group. Maybe I've put them in group two. Let me quickly see here. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So all I need to do is to transfer them. I put them in group two for stats. I just need to transfer them for group one because most of you are actually in group one. So then that way, both groups, they have the highest task. But as I was saying, if you look here, it's just quick revision. Um, so yeah, you just click which is the correct answer. And then you have unlimited opportunities to uh, complete this. 6th of no October is the deadline. Okay, so please make sure you do this. Then at least we know, okay, our 10% ice, done and dusted, isn't it? Okay. All five. All five. 6th of October. Yeah. Okay. All right, but let's get into what we want to do today. Okay. Let's get into what we want to do today. So here, the purpose of this activity is to use the special rule of addition to calculate probabilities. Okay. And guys, this is something we make sense of statistics or probability in this particular case by way of questions. So here, first one, they are saying the probabilities are 0 0.5, 0 0.05, okay, 0 0.14, 0 0.17, 0 0.33, 0 0.20, and 0 0.11. And they're saying here that students will respectively rate a new sandwich. So this is about rating a sandwich filling in the tuck shop as being very good, poor, uh, sorry, very poor, sorry, very poor, poor, fair, good, and very good, or excellent, okay? So this is respectively, okay? So 0 0.05 would be the very poor, okay? Therefore, poor would be 0 0.14, okay? And so on and so forth, okay? Then assuming that the ratings are mutually exclusive, what is the probability that the new filling will be rated very poor or poor? All right. So we then say, okay, very poor, we know the probability is 0 0.05. Okay. And the probability of poor is 0. Uh, this is too thick. Let's reduce it. Okay, so we are saying 0 0.05 is a probability of very poor. And we're saying what is the probability of very poor or poor? So then you say plus 0 0.14, which you are saying is what? 0 0.19, okay, or 19%. There's a 19% that is going to be rated poor or very poor. And so you literally are doing the same thing now with good. Let me use a different color this time. Uh, with good. Behave. But no, it's going on there. There we go. Thank you. What is the probability of good, very good, or excellent? Okay.
okay so those are the last three so we're talking about 0 0.33 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.11 and we get what when we add those two together what is the answer what is the probability of the rating of the filling of the sandwich to be good very good or excellent zero point zero point six ish six four or sixty four percent okay now can you see why i like percentages kind of just makes more sense to me and say there's a 64 percent chance i don't know just rather than saying 0.64 hmm, that's the same thing but somehow it just uh, makes more sense to me that way everybody happy so far so that's how we treat mutually exclusive then a fair dice is thrown once okay how many sides do we have to a dice I love the way you answered so fast. We know who our gamblers are here. Eh? Okay, so we've got six sides to a dice, right? So here they're now saying, firstly, they're asking, uh, find the probability that the outcome is bigger than three. How are you calculating, sir? Help us. We also want to get to the answer. Help us. What is your logic? So you said we we're saying the probability of what? Bigger than three, isn't it? That's what we're looking for. Can you see that? So what, what are the outcomes that would be bigger than three on a dice? Four, five, and six. Can you see that? And we said, how many sides do we have to a die? We said six. So that means there's a possibility that we could get any one of these six sides, right? So there's a one in six chance for any one of those, because we're only rolling one. Isn't it? So, but what we want is these outcomes, isn't it? So we're then saying, okay, so to get four, it's one over six, plus to get uh five is again one over six and then to get six is one over six as well when you add these what do you get three over six and then we land where the gentleman was leading us you simplify obviously that's then half so if you want to end off where i usually do this is then a 50 oh sorry this is then a 50% chance of getting a number bigger than three. Is it making sense? So you have to always break down, what am I looking for? What am I trying to calculate? Okay. Then when you understand that, then you can begin to answer the question. Right. So, but let's go on. Now, the next thing they're asking there, let's do this in... Uh, another color this thing is still too too thick <sighs> right odd number how many odd numbers do we have in a dice we obviously have one two three four five six so yeah i'm counting all of them i'm glad you guys are awake today you are with me so obviously you want odd. So which ones are odd then? Help me. Because clearly Sir has lost it. One, three, and five. So we're erasing two, we're erasing four, and we're erasing six. So what then is the probability of an odd number? Again, those are three numbers and we know each is one over six. So it's going to lead us to the same answer, not so 50% chance or half a chance that we get an odd number everybody happy yes. okay. 
Now, we move on to a card is chosen at random from an ordinary pack. Find the probability that it is red. A card is chosen from an ordinary pack, isn't it? How many cards do we have in a pack? We have 52 cards. We have 52 cards. 52. So we have 52 potential outcomes, isn't it? But now we don't want any outcome. We want the probability that the card that we pick is red. How many red cards do we have? Do you have 26? I really actually don't know, guys. Me, I, I don't gamble. Me. I don't do lotto. How many? Okay, so I'm... Um, um, so it's 26. It's 26. Are you sure? It's 26. Not 13. They can't. <laughs> So, so that means your general knowledge has to be good. Yes. So there's 26 black cards and 26 red cards in the normal package. Can we chat GPT? Can we Google this? I Googled. You did? Yeah. And it says 26, 26 red cards. And I'll pick it to me. Okay. Okay. And then just check in the back because me, I, I'm, I believe I'm getting this 13 from this 26, eh? So you're jamming Google, sir. I'm jamming. So you look at a Google page. 26 over 52. Okay. So that is what? That's pretty much 1 over 2, which is 50%. Is it making sense how we're getting this? What is the chance? Remember, I said probability is about chance. What is the likelihood that this can happen, isn't it? And guys, if you have questions, if you have thoughts, please feel free to share. So an honors card. Here we're talking about an ace, a king, queen, or a joker. Okay? So we know that we have one. Remember, we have spades. We have hearts, we have diamonds, and we have flowers, isn't it? Mm, clubs. All right? So, uh, you get one joker ace of each of those, isn't it? So, you could almost, this one you can kind of calculate. So, it would be four, because remember, we have four types, flowers, diamonds, what, 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 times these four honors cards, okay? Because you get one of each of those different types. So, that would obviously mean 16 over 52. What do we get? We're obviously going to divide that by 4. I think we should get 4 over what? Over 13. 1, 3, ne? And then as a percentage or a decimal, that gives us what do we get? 31. So 31%, isn't it? Okay, then here they're saying a face card, a face card. So that's your king, queen, or your joker. So again, we can quickly just say three times four, which gives us 12 over 52. Uh, so with the J, I'm thinking about the deck. Sorry, I think you're right. Yes. I think you're right. Oh, yeah. Yes, actually, you're right. 100%, even with the previous question. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this, whole thing. this whole thing. Why? Well, maybe, isn't what he said that maybe the 
the jack. Wait. The, with the jack. Jack is the yeah, yeah, yeah the jack. With the jack. Yeah. The same amount of kings. Yes. It's the same amount of kings and the same amount. Of so I, I'm the one who interpreted the J to be joker. It's not that the answer they said it's a joker. So I was the one who was wrong. Yes. We're together. We're fine. Okay. So now the question is, we have to simplify this. Can we simplify this? Uh huh. Which then becomes in zero comma twenty three, which is the same as twenty three percent. Is that twenty three percent chance that we get a face card? Mm -hmm. Right. Awesome stuff. Okay. So now we move on to the next one. Okay, and it says Andila keeps records of the lifetime in days of a particular type of battery that she uses in her portable radio. So number of batteries on the right side of our table, and then we have the lifetime of battery. So less than five days, we have six. Five and less than 10, we have 12 days. Oh, sorry, 12 batteries, 12 batteries. Then 10 and less than 20 days, we have 34 batteries. Then more than 20 days, we have four batteries. What is the probability, what is the chance that a battery selected at random will last less than 10 days. So basically we're saying what is the probability of less than 10? How do we get that? How do we get that? probability of less than 10. Next time I see you is tomorrow, right? Yes. What time? One, not, not, not three to four, uh, three to five. Okay. I see. So, what are we looking at? Uh -huh. Is that all we're looking at? Are we only looking at 12 batteries? Huh? And the six as well, because those are also less than, less than 10 days. So, plus six. And then? Total number of batteries, yes, because we can select any of those batteries, isn't it? Right? We're looking at the likelihood that we pick a battery that will last less than 10 days. But we have a total number of batteries which we can select from when we add all these. 6 plus 18, 18 plus 4, 22. 56 is the total number of batteries we have. And the total potential outcomes of batteries we can select from. So now, what is the probability that we we pick a battery that will last us less than 10 days? 0, 0,32. In other words, 32%. Is it making sense? Is it making sense? Then the next one, they're saying five or more. And this is where I think sometimes probability can catch us out unnecessarily. When they start saying five or more, six or less, you know, that's, do I include the six? Do I not? Less than six. 
guys, you need to be mindful of that. There was, um, I can't remember if it was when I was a student or what, but there was somebody who always used to say, probability is English. And I was like, yeah, actually, yeah, actually. Okay? So, but it's just one of those you need to practice. You need to practice. If we don't practice, it's not going to be good for us. Five or more, what is it? 12 plus 34 plus 4. Yes. You can. You, if you already know, if you already know the total, then that's fine. You can do that. Which gives you? Hey, I'm lecturing very sharp people. Very sharp people. Hmm? They can calculate these things fast, fast. I like it. I like it. Okay. So that was number four. Then we go to number five. Here they're saying the probability that a car owner in a certain income bracket will drive a Ford is 34% or 0 0.34. Okay. So for Ford, it is 34%. Okay. Then they go on to say the probability that he will drive a Toyota is 0. Point, um, let me be consistent, 8%. Assuming that the car does not, sorry, assuming that the car owner does not own a Ford or a Toyota, calculate the probability that such a person will not drive a Ford will not drive a Ford. And this is where you see complementary probabilities. We know the probability if they do drive a Ford, isn't it? So what is the probability if they don't drive a Ford? If they don't drive a Ford? It's 7%. If 34%, there's a 34% chance that they do drive a Ford, what is the probability that they don't? 60? Yes. Because we are basically saying, and here I see in your books they did this, they said probability Ford, they wrote the whole thing out and they did this, okay, which is equals to 1 minus the probability that they drive a Ford. Okay, if we're to, because I know you guys are using intuition, which is fine. Okay, so in other words, you can say one is the same as saying 100% minus your 34%, which gives you 66. Come in. How may we help you, sir? I'm well. Who are you here for? Are you here for stats? She's not here. All right, no problem. Cool. Right. So everybody happy with that? Okay, then we go to the next one. Drive a Ford or a Toyota. What is the probability that you drive a Ford or a Toyota? we just add that is a 42 percent chance that you drive a ford or a toyota then that you drive neither a ford or a toyota we're basically going back to this but now we're saying probability that you don't drive a ford or toyota you said 50 58 because we know that this is now 1 minus this 42 that we just calculated yes uh, so that's 0 0.42 which will then give us the 58 percent or 0 0.58 as if you want decimals so that's your activity one so far so good 
everybody happy? So guys, we obviously won't have a chance to go through all those activities, but you need to do all of them from your side. This thing is coming in test two. There will be no hiding from it. And you will see that what they do is they want to assess how do we treat mutually exclusive? How do we treat non-mutually exclusive? Same thing, probability that we either have this or that, okay? But obviously, because it's either mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive, that obviously plays a role in how you actually calculate uh, those different scenarios. Those different scenarios. So here now, I wanted us to move to activity. Uh, so we'll put that on silent. Uh, activity three, okay? These activities are all based on the special rule of multiplication. If you roll a, a dice twice, what is the probability that you will obtain a six both times? A six both times. Now we've been doing this together, so help me. Both times. So this is not in one event, it's two events. So we're calculating the probability of two events, isn't So it's slightly different from what we were doing. Can you see that? We were saying, in the initial, we were saying, if this happens, or oh, this happens. And that's why we were adding. Now here we're saying, we want this to happen and this to happen. Can you see? So both events must happen. We must roll a, what? What did they say here? A six both times. Okay, we know that the probability of getting a six is one over. Okay, so then what must we do? Yes, we do times it. Who said that? Okay. And then obviously we're going to get 1 over 36, which gives us a probability of? Zero comma zero three. In other words, three percent. Okay. Next one. Why am I not? Oops, sorry. I'll be back on that. Okay. So here they're saying Peter carries car insurance. How do you carry car insurance? Hmm, interesting. On both his car, his own car, and his wife's car. During any year, the probability of making an insurance claim on his car, okay, so his car, is 0 0.01, right? Then, while the probability of making a claim on his wife's car, all right, wife, is 0 0.06. Assuming independence, what is the probability that both Peter and his wife will have insurance claims on their cars during any given year. Assuming independence. When we say hey, these things are independent, what are we saying? Separate. Just separate. Yeah, probability of him having an accident is 0 0.1, that's separate. Probability of her having an accident is 0 0.06, right? That's separate. Is that all we're saying? 
when we say this is independent, him passing is independent of you passing. What are we saying? There's no, there's no impact. When you pass, you pass alone. When you fail, you fail alone, isn't it? My failing does not influence your passing. This is why we say, be careful with your friends. They'll invite you, let's go out, let's go out. That time, after you go out, they go and study. And then you, you say, ah, it was a long night. We had quite a few. I'm tired. Your friend is not sleeping. Your results are independent. So what do we do? How do we calculate the probability that both Peter and his wife will have an uh, insurance claims on their cars during one year? Isn't this the probability that they claim in a year? So remember, can you see the outcome that we want is both of them claiming? So how do we go about it? I'm looking at you for a reason. Because it's the same answer. Yes. You want to say something? Say it's fine. Why wouldn't it be add? Because we're not saying all. Remember, when we say all, we're saying we don't mind if this happens or that happens. We're saying both must happen. Makes sense. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah, let me leave it at that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's fine. Let me leave it at that. What answer do we get? <laughs> OK. So guys, you have to read these caref yeah. questions carefully. What percentage is that? What percentage is that times 100? That means it's a 0.06%. Uh, uh, it's already as a percentage. It's not even 1%. Yeah. So here, and this is the, no, we'll see how far we get. The probability, the probability uh, of any athlete finishing a 1,000 meter race is 0 0.80, all right, which is the same as 80%. There's an 80% chance that any athlete, okay, didn't say any varsity college student, they said athlete. Mm -hmm. Two athletes from your team participate in this race. What is the probability that both will finish? What is the probability that both will finish? The desired outcome is that both finish. The one finishing, does it influence the other finishing? So, what is the probability? Sixteen over twenty-five. Ah, you're the one calculating. All I know is it's zero eighty times. Mm. Is it sixty-four? Are you guys sure? You said 64 percent. I'm just thinking, when you times those two, yeah, you're right. It's 64 percent. It's 64 percent. So in this case, why didn't they give us the amount of athletes that are participating in the race so we can get the easier answer? Ten yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have ten athletes participating, and then what is the probability of two athletes from your team finishing the race? Mm -hmm. 
But now, do the 10 athletes have any influence on the two? So it would have been irrelevant to tell us about the 10. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. But if they had said, the more crowded, the, the then it has some sort of an influence on how many people actually, you know, uh, finish the race, and then given us a probability to that, then we could use that probability to get a, 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 a livelihood of whether the two in our team will finish. Then it would have been relevant. Can you see? Makes sense. Okay. So here now they're saying, what is the probability that neither of the two will finish? Neither of the two. They told us the probability that what will that, what is the probability when we finish, isn't it? How are you guys getting it? How can you see? Let's see. So you minus from a hundred and you got thirty-six percent. Is this correct? Is it correct? Do you all think well, that's what we need to do? <laughs> yes? You're saying no. Why are you saying no? Ah, now you're not saying no. You take it back. So remember, we are, are doing combined probabilities, isn't it? So we need to be saying, okay, what is the probability that one makes it times the probability that the other makes it, isn't it? So likewise, we need to say, what's the probability that one doesn't make it and the probability that the other also doesn't make it and we times those two. So in this case, what is the probability that one does not make it? If there's an 80% chance that you make it, what's the probability that you don't make it? 20. Okay, so again, they're testing us on our understanding of complementary probabilities. So we say 0 0.20. All right, the probability that one doesn't make it. And obviously, it's the same probability if the second does not make it. So we say times 0 0.20. Are we getting the same thing? I'm, I'm going back to this piece of information that they gave us. They told us, the probability of finishing a 1,000 meter race is 80%. 0 0.80 is the same as 80%. I have an 80% chance that I'll finish the race, which means that what's the probability of me not finishing? There's a 20%. So that's where we're getting this from. OK, we have to decipher that information. You're looking at me like, why, sir? Why? OK. They've said. I have a 0 0.80 chance that I will finish the race. So they've told me what is the likelihood I will finish. But then there's also a possibility, because they didn't say the likelihood of me finishing is 1. We know that if they say the probability or the likelihood of you finishing is 1, it means you are going to definitely finish. It's a certainty. Does that make sense? So that means there's room for me not to finish. Now the question is, what is that room? What is that probability? The only way we know that all our probabilities, they add up to one, isn't it? So one minus the probability that I will make it, which is 0 0.80 or 80%, is therefore 0 0.20. Maybe I should have done this at the beginning. Okay? So the probability of failing is 0 0.20. We're together now. Okay. So in the previous activity, we used the answer find out where, like, where, where, where both will do it. Yeah. The first one was where both will. Yeah. Yes. So, so I was just saying, since they gave us the 0 0.80, we just use that open. Because in the first activity, they didn't. Right? You're confusing even me. Is that, is that the reason why? Where what? So the other activity, we use the answer. Where like the both would 
determine which activity let's let's be specific this activity we're still oh yes the 64 percent yes tell me about that No, we're using the 80. The 80. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is that the activity we did previously, we used this answer. one. We used our answer. Yes. To find like the need of. Are you talking about when you say the previous activity? Are you talking about number two here? Ah, or you're talking about activity one? Okay, let's go to activity one and see. No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I want to make sure we're comparing. Yes. I want to make sure we're comparing X with X, isn't it? So let's see what was going on here. I like it. I think here, sir, we got our answer and then we use that answer yeah. to minus it from one. Yes. One. Yes, we did. Yes, sir. So what Why? Happened? Yeah, sir. I think it's the answer is very significant. Also, here we are saying neither. Neither a Ford nor a Toyota. Can you see that? Neither a Ford or a Toyota. So we understand that um, the likelihoods are not combined per se. We're just saying it's neither this or that. Whereas in this exercise three, it's exercise three, yes, we are saying neither of the two will finish. So both of them must not finish. Can you see that? We're combining those probabilities. We want it in a situation where neither of the two will finish. Where the other one, we were saying neither a Ford or a Toyota. If we go, if I know it, it, it really sounds the same, isn't it? If we look here at the earlier, they said drive a Ford or a Toyota. Yes. And then here they're giving us 0.34 and 0 0.3. That's why. So we get separated and then that one is true. That's what I'm trying to say. It's combined. Remember, we also studied uh, when we were going through the slides, we were saying combined probabilities. So you, you hit it on the nail. Joint or combined. So, so with the athlete question, if they said athlete one has a zero point thirty and athlete two has a zero point twenty, that would be separated. It wouldn't be the same as this. Again, it it would be a question of uh, did they combine the outcome? You see. So, how have they asked? What are they looking for? If they combine, then that's when we use mu multiplication. When we are saying these are two possible different events but what is the likelihood of all because there are other events that could take place but we're saying if we combine these two events right together right what's the likelihood of these two events that's when we add so guys i know it's such a thin line we have to practice because when you practice you quickly see ah what i thought they were asking and what they're asking is different see okay right but let's quickly cal calculate the 0 0.20 times 0 0.20 and then we'll take a break which is four percent can you see how way off we were with our 36 percent this is this is what you're going to be seeing in test two and this is why i always say when it comes to my modules numeracy related modules Guys, I want you to have seen the question before you go and write it in the exam. If you are seeing it there for the first time, <laughs> I'm scared. Because you won't be able to pick out what are they, with 100% with, with confidence, what are they asking? With 100% confidence, what is the trick in this question? I always say this to my account, I want you to see the trick before you answer the question. Okay? But anyway, let's leave it at that. Let's take our 10 minute break. Yeah, let, 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 let me just, uh, let me just, let me just, uh,